Morning girls, how are we doing? We are back, back, back to the past with Chantel and Salah. This one is couple vlog at Al... I, I did that thing again, where I didn't read the title before I started speaking. Al Coot Mall and watch a movie in Kuwait. And then there's a bunch of stuff I can't read. Uh, this is from like November 2022. And it was it's kind of similar to the Amber Lynn video. You probably should have already seen that by now. Where I was something like, let's check to see what their chemistry was like. This is them, what... A month and a bit after initially, apparently, like, starting to text online. It was, like, October 2022 when she totally changed her personality. So, here we are. Like, this is this is them fresh. This is actual, like, first date energy, guys. So, I thought we'll have a look to see if the relationship has grown. How they, you know, compare to their previous self. I mean, I'm actually kind of excited for it. But we're 1.25 speed. Let's go. Oh, I was not excited for this. Oh, I forgot. Yep. There we go. Ah, there we go. Let's. Yeah, I'm just skipping until we just get there. Okay. Oh my god. I, we're, we're like 40 seconds in. It came up. It's like, parking. I was like, oh, cool. I don't, I don't feel like I needed any of Oh, I forgot about this. I forgot, like, so much of her Q8 vlogs were just, like, panning shots of just kind of, like, eh, eh, looking areas. Because for her, especially at the start, Q8 was, like, magical because she had never been to anywhere like like q it before like whatsoever the only place she had ever visited were she went over to america to get like sonic slushies and she went to cuba where she spent her entire time in a resort which is not it's not a way to actually experience another country like this is the first time she's actually been out in another country so i guess it was like magic for her it's like oh my god look they have palm trees and stuff like that oh my god it's crazy guys but i really i don't need to see you trying to find a parking spot look at these ships wow you nice i literally I was just like, okay, there's probably going to be at least a minute or so. So I had a fucking sip of my hot chocolate. And I was sitting there, oh, no, actually, never mind. Here's just a bunch of boats, I guess. And it, it nice. <laughs> Even back then, they had no chemistry. She didn't give a shit. I'm pretty sure that's a Starbucks, though. You guys can only see the light circle, but. Wow. That's Hello, cool. guys. Today is a BEA beautiful day, and we got to go with us to a... <laughs> Oh my god. He's just as fucking awkward as he was now. He's uh he's he's thinner back then. He, he doesn't look as like ragged and disheveled. So like <laughs> nine months nine months of being with Foodie Beauty has destroyed this young man. Put mall, then and then we're gonna go see a horror movie. We're gonna go see Pray for the Devil. A horror gonna movie? Bring you with You're gonna see a horror movie? <laughs> uh Pray for the Devil I don't even remember that one. I thought this is the one that went and saw Megan. Mithrigan, Mithrigan, as people called it. Uh, I guess, I guess not. I, 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 I reacted to a couple of the travel vlogs like at the start, and then I took like a fair break because I originally, if anyone doesn't know, I did a couple of videos on Foodie Beauty on my main channel. Um, this was like near enough a year ago at this point. That was just me expanding out because I was kind of getting bored with my main guy, and I did a couple of videos of it, and I enjoyed it, even though they weren't overly successful or anything like that. I was like, well, these are fun. Like you know, they're lighthearted, they're easy. My other videos generally were like. Uh, are too long. Jenny actually did a lot of research for them and scripted and edited and all that kind of stuff. Uh, so I was just like, you know what? These are a really fun reaction channels. That's actually why this, this this channel exists now. Because I was just at one point going, well, I don't want to have like 100, 200 videos of me just reacting uh, to the girls. Uh, 30 minute videos, not really anything substantive on my main channel, which is meant to be like actual like kind of documentary-ish was my initial attention. Obviously didn't turn out like that but uh, yeah this uh, i came back and i started doing travel reacts but there's a whole bunch of these i never saw which is actually why i've come back and i've decided to watch these now to see the mall and the movie yep yellow let's go I'm so excited so excited yellow yellow one of my favorite things about kuwait i was right countries. oh my god i was actually right oh my god actually i haven't even seen this before i was fucking right oh my god i've joked for ages that she thinks palm trees are like Oh my, so incredible. They're like so tropical. It's crazy, guys. She thinks everyone's jealous of her because he always has this idea that all of her haters are jealous of her lifestyle, which like obviously no one is. Like her, her lifestyle is terrible. It is nothing. Like w w where are we at in, in, in Thailand right now? We've had a couple of days of her just like, sitting there doing like mukbangs in her room now whilst we're all sitting waiting to see if any actual travel content comes out. Like who would be jealous of this lifestyle but for her she thinks white sand beaches and palm trees oh everyone says that's their like dream retirement oh i bet all my haters are really jealous of me because i'm near a palm tree it's like bro not even fucking close so i had to just round me skip apart where they just round me just went up and 
once again pestered some stray cats. I don't remember. This is like November. So this is actually before the whole BBJ incident, I'm pretty sure. Because this is her first trip to Kuwait. And the BBJ thing obviously happened in the, the interim period. Obviously, people were already giving her shit because the way she was talking about BBJ. And, you know, if she does decide to go out there and live with Salah, then she's going to have to get rid of her, wood chip her, all that kind of that kind of stuff. So, it's it's in the interim period, but it's still obviously her just going up and trying to be like, Look how nice I am. I'm trying to pet a cat. Yeah. Yep, see boats. Yep. I'm assuming we're just covering up for her, like, deep breathing or something like this. It's like, why? Why? It's just like, there's some boats. Yep, hard cut the copyright free fucking music. Just slamming it. Hello. Hello. <laughs> I'm not even sure if you guys can hear that over the fucking music. Her audio mixing, especially at the start of the couple's vlogs, were, were, was genuinely awful. You guys, I'm not sure if you guys can even hear. It, it's just... Eh, it's so awkward. We're, once again, we're going to visit a mall. It's like, This is like indicative of what's to come. It is empty. It's late at night. There's no one fucking about. But she's just happy to be with Salah. At this point in her relationship, she's just happy to be seen in public with Salah before, before the dark times came. Copyrighted music is playing in some parts of the mall. Well, it wasn't playing outside when you started playing this. Like, I, this music is just terrible. It's it's boring. There's no, no energy to it. It I'm no, I know in her head, she's like, oh, I'm going to set the mood because I'm in Q8. It's Arabic. Let's play some Arabic music in the background and just have, you know, the kind of like a, a general instrumental playing the entire time. But it's too loud and it's just not very interesting. It's like, yeah, there's probably some copyright music playing at some parts of the mall. Well, there's, is there any reason why we're here filming hair care like is there any reason you're filming this if this part is part of the mall that has copyrighted music then don't film here this is not interesting it's not essential it's not it's like if i went to fucking i don't know luxembourg and i walked around a mall and started filming it's like oh my god guys they have clothes drops it's like yes i yeah yeah, yeah bro I, I i imagine they actually would yep what's a what was just a hard cut? Because like, I guarantee they're just going to hard cut to them inside again. We literally just went in the mall. We, we down it around copyright, for, you know, free music playing in the background for 20 seconds. And we just hard cut outside again. Wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> wow. Just wow. That's I don't know what, Chantal, I agree with you. Wow to this video. Oh my god, actually, are the couple of videos better now than they used to be? Is that possible? Like, the Thailand ones are certainly better than this. Well, for being two and a half minutes in. Like, Jesus. Bro, if you're just going to keep showing me this fucking fountain, we're skipping. The fountain's uh, still warming up, by the way. Oh, really? Are they going to shoot water out after? Yeah, you literally saw the water singing back. Like, what? Are they gonna, oh, really? Are they going to shoot water? It's a yes. It's a fountain. I'm assuming that's why you're standing here filming. It's almost like you probably already know this. What? Yeah, it's going to be like, you know about the dancing fountains? No. Oh. Yeah, it's a you don't know about fountains that shoot like water in the air? Like, who doesn't know about this? Like, doesn't like every country have this somewhere? You know, it's, it's, it's just, it's a water display fountain. It's what they're for. Like, even Northern Ireland has those. No. Slowly. Yeah, see? Wow. Wow. It, I'm, <laughs> you know why I said every country has them? Every country has them because they're not overly impressive. It's just like, it's just some lights projected through like a mist of water being shot out of a fountain. It's like, yeah, that's it's something that exists. It's really nice. Wow. Cool. Oh my god. Wow, here she is. It, it's been like over a minute straight of just these these fountains and I think I said they're just they're just fountains. They're not actually in, e even close to being interesting. But I love because at one point she goes, wow, beautiful. Boom! Hard cut the fucking like copyright free music just came slamming back in out of nowhere. Uh, yep, bro, it's just it's a it's a fountain. It it looks like that. Yeah, I, I don't need a minute of it in my life. She does look, like, thinner than she is now, I think. But we haven't got a good full body shot yet. But I do think she looks, like, considerably thinner. 
Oh mm -hmm. yeah, she's she's definitely fucking thinner than she is now. Holy actual shit! Her like boobs are kind of like on level with her stomach from the looks off it. Obviously, it's black. It's it's harder to tell from the front here. But like, I'm sorry if this was like modern Chantel, I'd expect her to be like sticking out everywhere. Be the uh, beautiful guys. Is that his catchphrase? Was that his catchphrase back then? I'm kind of glad he dropped it. B E A, beautiful guys. Very beautiful. That is like, it is the word of the day. She has said that about four times so far, just fucking vlog. Ha <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you know Sala wants to fucking ride that. We should go in. <laughs> We're gonna go. Kids, by the way. <laughs> I see a man in there. Yeah. <laughs> Oh my fucking god, we're actually back to panning shots of her standing in front of this fucking... Fun what? Bro, I don't care! Go and do something! Oh. Look at this amazing view. Yeah. Oh, oh, T he guys, I think he might mean his wife as well. Ooh hoo How crazy! <laughs> like, Jesus Christ. Wow, gorgeous. That's, that is actually a different word from beautiful, Like, so I am somewhat impressed. Fuck me sideways. Do anything. And it's been four minutes. You literally find your car parking spot. You walked in and you're filming this for like two minutes now. I love it. It's so nice out here. She's tr this is one who she's trying really hard to like seem cute. Like she's dropping her chin a lot. She's <laughs> it's beautiful. It's so beautiful out here. I love it out here so much. <laughs> I, everything has changed. By the way, you made it nice. <laughs> Thanks. Do you know what, actually, I, I do find that funny that Salah, like, with his, like, pure, unadulterated fucking autism, was able to try and make that point, that it's a nice view. Very obviously, because Chantel was at it, because I, I even made that joke. And then, like, he then has to explain it to Chantel. Like, he's the fucking, like, Terminator. He's the one with, like, any emotions, but he still has to be able to explain a fucking joke to Salah, to Chantel. Oh my fucking god, here's a slightly different angle to water fountains, and here's a little hard eye emoji. Because I like it, it's beautiful, I love it, it's gorgeous, I like it. Oh look, it's quite nice. I think this is B-E-A beautiful. Some dates, yummy. <laughs> what the f- <laughs> for your music, that fucking fountain. Harkat dates, yummy. <laughs> What the fuck? Couple of vlog at that mall. Do you know what? The first like four minutes of this is basically not fucking fighting. You might as well mention the fighting in the title. Imagine you're like, okay, we're gonna do a couple of vlog at a mall, guys. It's gonna be so amazing, guys. Okay, so what we're gonna do is show us the, us uh, driving there and getting our parking spot, and then we're gonna look at a, mo a fucking fountain for like two and a half minutes, and then we're gonna look at some snacks. It's like, oh my god, can you do anything in this fucking mall? We're inside of a type of little co-op grocery store inside the mall. Oh, sounding. Thanks. So this is what it would look like. This is what it would look like? No, this is what it looks like. You're showing me it. <laughs> if you drew like a fucking MS paint drawing and, and like, how like, this is where the chick would, chicken would be. It's like, okay, that's what it would look like. You're actually showing me it. So this is what it looks like. Yep. Oh my god. Fresh. <laughs> <laughs> so this is where she learned the word. Yeah, bro, it's fish. <laughs> like I just does Canada not have fish? Does Canada does is does Canada just not have fish? Is this baffling to her that there's fish? Yep, still that's fish. Still is. <laughs> the woman's squinting right at her like what the fuck you want, bitch. Yep. How many fish do you? How many fish here? Salads! Oh, it's the ocean! I don't know fucking loads! <laughs> He's gonna activate fucking scan mode and check for us. Oh, are we seriously just seeing boats again? Bro, it's like the third time you show me different fucking boats. I don't care. Yep, oh, that's the water. The yep. Was that, oh, the bread that floated. <laughs> yep. Oh, thanks, thanks, thanks Chantel for pointing that out. I wouldn't have fucking noticed it. Yep, those are still boats! There we go. Oh. See, this is the point I would listen, I would have what maybe copyright music going and maybe spell you up the footage or something like that. Because right now I'm hearing it for the fucking escalator. Here we are walking across the bridge. You can hear her. If you listen really carefully, you can hear her trying to like go like. She's like trying to take like really quick, shallow breaths so you don't hear like. But I'm like. You, you, you play copyright free music of you walking into the mall earlier on, obviously to hide the deep breathing. 
So why aren't you doing it now? It's so jarring when she swaps back. Like, obviously, I prefer no copyright free music like, at all. Like, I, it's, it is just awful to listen to. But it's so jarring when she cuts back and forth so sharply, especially because the copyright free music is generally pretty loud. And then when she's not using the copyright free music, she is incredibly quiet. Yep, Mango, there you go. Thanks, Salah. I don't know why I already said that. Oh, five guys. Store. Yeah, I... Like, yeah, okay, we're definitely here for the fucking Mango, not the five guys. hagen -Dazs. Is that just like a hagen -Dazs shop? Like, I'd be all over that shit. Yep, let's go. It's just really bad. Like, I, I don't need, like, shots you just, like, walking past, like, an opticians or something like that. It's, like, just, maybe, like, don't show us the walking. Because the walking is the least interesting bit for you because you're so slow at it. And the camera just sways violently back and forth. Like, just, like, cut the camera, walk up to store, and film the front of the store or something like that. Um, this looks very, very good. Very, um, very not Western at all. What the fuck? The chocolate bun? Uh, okay. I guess. Yum, I've never tried this. Yum, I've never- you've never tried a crap before? Can we not lie to ourselves and each other here? Like, come on, we're all friends. Come on. You've never had a crap before. Alright, bro. Like, crap. Isn't a crap French? Isn't she from, like, French Canada? Like, I'm sure you've had a fucking crap before. Yep. Yum. Yum. Pain peco. <laughs> What the fuck? <laughs> this is oh, are we gonna get the famous <laughs> yummy? Are we gonna get that again? I haven't heard that in so long. For some reason, she dropped the yummy thing. Yummy was fucking hilarious. If anyone doesn't remember, she anytime she sees something, she used to do the low BMI voice, do the voice, and go <laughs> yummy, and it's like the funniest shit. Yep, this is still food. Too many options. That's still food. Yum. Yep. That's still food. Whoa. Yep, still food. Take it out. I'm just gonna make a point. That is literally just it's literally just some food. Which is the cool mojito box? I thought alcohol was illegal in Kuwait. Like I realize it could just be like mojito flavor, but I I would I'd find that absolutely bizarre if someone's like, yeah, it's mojito flavor. It's like it's like, oh, espresso martini flavor. It's like it's there's no alcohol. What the fuck's the point of that? <laughs> um it's just it's just food. Like I guess she she thinks food is porn. She is like obsessed with food. It is it's cool, but it's uh, a bit too much information. Oh my god, we're going back uh, up. What do you suggest? I suggest the crepe with the chocolate and the fruits, which is a called dip and dip crepe. Yeah. Dip and dip crepe, yummy. Yummy. It wasn't it wasn't the low BMI voice, yummy, but we're we're heading towards it, boys. I can feel it in my fucking bones. Here it is. Dipping. Are they pretending they got this just for the fucking two of them? Really? Where, uh, Chantal, where's your two? Dip crepe. Good choice. Thank you. Oh my god, he awkwardly looked away. Thank you. Look away. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, this is first date energy. Holy shit. Yum. Oh my. <laughs> Slow pan down. Yum. <laughs> it's all she has. Let's dig in. Yep. Yalla. Has he never used a knife and fork before? Why do you look so concerned about this? Go on, Sally, you can make it. <laughs> mm, delicious. You got fried right now. We are going to dinner after the movie, so we shared this treat. Okay. <laughs> who, are you, who are you shouting at out there? Are your chonker shouting away out there for some reason? Bro, we're, we share this treat. Come the fuck on. Why are we trying to lie? Why are we trying to lie? Is it, was this back when she was trying to pretend that moving to Kuwait will like really help her lifestyle and she's going to become super fit and healthy? Right. Yep. It's like so chocolatey. Yeah, it's it's actually, it's kind of an unappealing because I, I, I actually like savory crap, so I'm not a big fan. Hey, Chonger. What's the matter, Chonger? He's, he's coming to tell me something. Okay, Chonker's going to be with us for the rest of the video. Um, I like savory crepes. I'm not a big fan of sweet crepes in general. Like, I just don't. Uh, barbecue chicken crepes, cheesy chicken crepes, something like that. Something like that. Uh, that's usually what I go for if I'm going for a crepe. This is just looks like it'd be moist. Uh, not even in a good way. It just looks like it'd be, like, kind of gross. It looks like a bit, a bit sickly sweet. I wouldn't. I certainly wouldn't have this before going to the cinema where I'm probably going to have, like, popcorn and stuff like that. Because it's just like, this 
this would be like for a normal person, obviously not for her, for a normal person, this would be like so sickly sweet and so rich, you probably wouldn't want to eat afterwards. Oh yeah, make sure you get that fruit. I know that's your concern. Ah, uh, bloody bite. I didn't even say it this time, she doesn't care about us. Wow, you can really tell, like, this is before, like, the feeder content, like, really came in. So this is when she was, like, obviously she still had a decent amount of money. She was still, like, happy enough with herself. Because this is before the feeder content, because she, like, just puts it into her mouth. Like, I'm obviously not going to show it. But she just kind of puts it into her mouth. And it's like, mmm, that looks, that's tasty. And then it immediately cuts away to him. him. It's not like, nom, 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 mm, mm, ah, mm, ah, that's so good. Uh, it's not none of that shit. So I'm, I'm actually gonna try. Maybe for the next bite, she's gonna do it like the last bite. No, actually, it wasn't. Mm. Is it so good? The food with the chocolate. With the oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, we're literally just tag teaming this pure fucking crap. Jesus Christ. <laughs> it is just like she films him, he films her, just bouncing back and forth. I go, okay, I, do you know what? I get it. You're eating the crap. I don't actually need to see any more of this, thank you. I love she makes a big fucking song and dance. It's like, oh, I've got to get a strawberry. i got to get some fruit down one of my five a day. It's like, okay. Perfect. Well, I was kind of in a... Oh my God. I actually hear the... If you guys listen closely, even on the pause screen, you can hear the filters chugging trying to sort out this fucking face oh my god you look unnatural <laughs> oh my god that wasn't the escalator heard earlier on that was a phone trying to fucking recover from this fucking close-up okay <laughs> okay fantastic okay fucking oh good this, this all worked out perfectly bad move because i don't like malls we both don't like malls but then i had chocolate and now i I don't like malls, but then I had chocolate. <laughs> That's the most honest you've ever been. It's, it's one of those things where it's like, even here, with like the, the, the multi called the undercap, and then the uh, hijab over the top, it actually is better than what she wears nowadays, because what she wears nowadays is just like, I literally don't give a shit. It's, I, I want to see if she's wearing something under, not, not like that, guys. I want to see if she's wearing like a second layer under the abaya and hijab, like she usually is, because nowadays, in my opinion, I, I think she probably just takes it off when she's done filming. It's like, why else would you have... Like, a full, like, long sleeve top on underneath when you're complaining that you are so warm, you're basically having heat stroke and you're getting boils because you're sweating so much. But for some reason, you swear, wear, like, sweatpants and, like, a, a long sleeve top under your hijab. Especially when you don't need to wear all of this. So I I, I wonder I, I wonder if this is back when she was actually, like, leaning into it. Feel better. Yeah. This mall is huge. We have, like, an hour and a half before the yeah. movie, so we're just going to show you some stores. Oh, I'm so excited. Like, with, the, with the attitude of, eh, I might as well just show you some shit. Like, I got time to kill. <laughs> this is my brand. Super dry? It's just like your wife. Super dry. Most of my clothes is from this shop. Well, it's a Japanese style. Super dry. Nice. Yeah. Bath and Body Works. I see Christmas things. I see you awkwardly zooming in at some poor fucking woman. Wow. Nice. <laughs> I'm just gonna include that bit because she goes, oh, this is Sephora here. Awkwardly just stares at it for 10 seconds and it goes, nice. And that is it. it like, it's kind of become like an assault in senses because it is just suddenly so fucking loud. Like all the background noise is just like overwhelming. She's obviously holding the phone very close to her face and she's recording this or so anything she speaks. It is like she's booming in your fucking ear. Obviously we've made our way back to five guys because like of course why wouldn't we? Uh, I don't know how much I'm just going to show you because it's just like I said it's just it's painful. Does that make noise? Let's have a look from the side. Oh, we're finally going into a store. Like, oh my god, this assault and census continues. We're finally going into a store. Obviously, it's a music store because it shows up and she goes, Wow, drums! And he's like, Yes, I love this place. He goes, Aha, you would. And I was like, Doesn't he just play like a Casio keyboard? Like, not the shit on him. I probably couldn't play a Casio keyboard. I haven't since I was like a child. Like, but like, it's just like, Bro, you just play a Casio keyboard. And does he still play? I haven't heard him play any music in like legitimately probably forever. And yes, they just showed us the front of the cinema and said, this is the cinema we're going to. And then they went back to walking. Oh, I thought it would make noise. Darn. Yeah, it is making noise. You listen carefully, you hear, oh my god, get the fuck off me. <laughs> you, you have to listen for these things, though. This is a nice piano, wow. 
Like you would fucking know. <laughs> oh my god, guys. Uh, very nice piano here. I really like the... Uh, <sighs> whiteness. <laughs> oh my god. Oh yeah, we're right back to the Casios. Signed uh, iconic, more like signed fucking ironic. To the gaming store, maybe like Best Buy or oh. GameStop. Or like a gaming store. Like I don't think you really need to go into explaining what a gaming store is. I think people know what a gaming store is. Burger holic. Burger holic, oh my god. Have we had a burger holic base? I'm genuinely surprised. I am myself one. Yep. Very fancy restaurants. Yep. Is it? Yeah. I'm not to sign like a snob. Would anyone really picture like anything in a mall being a fancy restaurant? Just any mall, anywhere that you can think of. Does anyone go like, you know what? I'm going to go to a fancy restaurant tonight. I'm going to book a table for Valentine's Day. I'm going to book it at my local mall. Nice. Nice, I guess. <laughs> There's TGI Fridays. Oh, and Shake Shack? We have to come back here. This, okay, that was the shot. That was the shot where the guy was like full fucking glaring at her. And he said something like, kind of like, I don't know, aggressively in Arabic when, when she passed. And I heard a lot of people say that he had insulted her. People came out uh, and apparently have claimed recently that's actually not what he said. But I'm not sure. I have heard, now heard both. I don't speak Arabic, so I have no fucking idea. But that's what I remember. I remember that going around with a bunch of people saying that he had said something like, don't film me, you fat pig, or something like that. I can't remember what it was exactly. It was obviously back in November. Um, okay, I was expecting this to be the video. That's, that's weird, because I actually made a call back to that fairly recently. Turkish? Yeah, I'm baklava. Yep, baklava. Yep. Is that a restaurant with little stalls at the front? I actually quite like that idea, so you don't have to go into the restaurant if you just want takeaway. <laughs> TGI Fridays. <laughs> TGI Fridays. I'm like, TGI Fridays. So I'm like, uh, Chantal, do you want to sit down before you try and speak? Holy actual fuck, bro. I'm going to come back here. Okay, I like the jump cut, and then she's obviously rested, and then she spoke normally like a normal human again there. But that last 30 feet, feet that she down her there, no, that fucking killed her. I'm going to eat all the food. Yeah. yeah, funny. Yep. Here's the menu. I think that's actually the menu. I think that's a promotional picture. But, you know, you do. <laughs> what the fuck? Uh, I've never seen Shake Shack before. A uh, uh, veal bacon cheddar dog. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, cool. I it, it just looks like normal food it's kind of kind of a bit boring i think it's is this a bit when she went to qa for the first time where she wasn't like yet pretending she was fully engrossed to the culture and wasn't pretending like every single meal she had was like arabic and instead she was actually like going to like western places still is this an arcade let's play you challenge me <laughs> yeah are you challenging me i challenge you to arcade I ch what chemistry i challenge you to arcade Oh, oh, that was that was all oh, side splitting. That oh, was funny as fuck. Are you actually going to go in because you look like you're walking past it, and this is like the only place that could potentially be a little bit interesting? You're literally walking past like food stalls, going, "Oh, they're selling some kind of um sweet," and it's like, "Thanks, thanks for your fucking input, bro." Are we <laughs> gonna go in? Talk. Are we gonna go in? No. We see you, you challenge a gamer. <laughs> challenge. Are you challenging our gamer? Well, you obviously didn't. You, you pussied the fuck out of her challenge. You walked right past the fucking place. She was challenging you and you walked past it. The gamer. Oh, cool. Doesn't he just play like PUBG Mobile? <laughs> it's so weird. Really, I think that I think that I'm a gamer. Like, I think that fucking claim is like unbearable fucking cringe. I think because everyone plays video games now, it's not like, I don't know, like 40 years ago when Pac-Man was doing a game, people like, I'm a gamer, I play Pac-Man pretty fucking hardcore. Like, it's, it's like everyone games now. The title, I'm a gamer, is just like, okay. That's like saying, I, I, I like movies. It's like, yes, so does everyone. Con good work, I guess. Aren't you really interesting? <laughs> Especially when he's like, I'm such a gamer. And then he plays like PUBG Mobile. He's like, you're playing a mobile game. Do people even consider that a gamer? <laughs> like, even, even, even like 20 years ago. There's a whole car. My favorite yep. Crocs. No, that was you. That was, that was you. You saw reflected there. Like, I get similar size, similar weightage, but no, it was actually just you. <laughs> Crocs store. 
Oh. Is that an entire store just for Crocs? Isn't Crocs just like one style? Why the fuck would you need a store? Like what? It was those Croc welly boots? Crocs are weird. I, I, I've only known one person to have Crocs and he fucking loved them to be fair. But only person I've ever seen in all my fucking existence to work Crocs. Oh, movie concessionary? I really wasn't sure. See, I, I saw the cordoned off. I saw the popcorn deals. I was like, oh, I wonder what you're doing here. Bro, I, I, I did. Out of everywhere that you've put up a little, like, information thing for, I did not need that. Yep. How come it's fucking empty? Are they going on the day where, like, the tickets are 17 times the normal price just to make sure there's no one else? Because when you go to a horror movie, you want there to be people. There's nothing less fun than going to a horror movie by yourself. Genuinely, there's nothing. I, I have done it once before. I have walked in. I remember I walked in, and it was like... I can't even remember what the fucking movie was. But it was, like, really dark. Obviously, horror movie. It was, like, the dark, scary opening. And I remember I came in a little bit late and I crept in. And I took a seat. And I sat there. And then something, like, lights and everything like that. And loud noises. And I kind of remember just... I took the time to just kind of look around. Because it finally lit up. And I was the only person. I was sitting right in the center of the fucking cinema. I was the only person in the entire screening. And I just looked around. And I was just like... Oh, this isn't even fun. Like, you go to a horror movie to have people, like, reacting around you. Especially bad horror movies because you have people laughing. That's that's what you go to a horror movie for. Why would you, like, go there? It's like, oh, I want to go there at fucking 1 a.m. when there's no one else in existence. And here's where you can buy pizza, hot dogs, nachos, popcorn, chips, candy. Bro, I'll let you have been to a cinema before. Millie, we don't sell pizza. <laughs> we don't sell pizza in ours. I know there's places that, like, you order actual meals for. But, like, yeah. Do you know what? Out of everything you need to explain about QA to me, I did not need to explain a cinema. And he drinks for the movie. Oh, for the movie? Oh, I thought you walked in, you ordered them, just went home afterwards. I thought that's why people were paying fucking like 10 pounds for some popcorn. I thought people were just like, I really like this popcorn. I'm just going to buy it and go home. Yep. You can get salty or sweet uh, caramel. Our drinks. Popcorn. You have two drinks. Why the fuck do you need to hold her? Like what? Okay, guys, we are so excited to uh, watch the movie. Yes. Okay, ready? Yes, I am so excited to watch a movie. I am ready. Are we gonna say Yala? Should I time it with them? Let's go. Let's go. Yala. Yala. And we didn't even say it together. Fucking blue ball the shit out of me, Chantal. You let the same team down me and Salah. We're on the same page. Our autism aligned there for a second. Well, Alice, it seems. We both got autism, haven't we? Yeah. Well, that's good to know. But the fuck's sake, oh. It's been really bad so far. Let the show begin. Let's go. Thank you. I love she still thinks this is like the height of fucking romance. It's like, oh, he put my straw in my drink for me. Oh, thank you. It's like, I, I'm sorry. Don't touch my fucking straw, bro. <laughs> Don't touch my fucking straw, bro. I'm an adult, I can put my own fucking straw in. Oh, it's empty again. If it's so empty, why the fuck are you sitting on the aisle seat? Like, I, what, wouldn't you sit in the middle? Like, even, like, if you're feeling self-conscious that other people might come in. Wouldn't you want to sit in the middle so there's, like, no one squeezing past you? Also, you get the best view of the, the screen? Like, I, I, I don't get... I, I know this is a weird thing to criticize and, like, really affixate on, but why the fuck would you pick the aisle seat here? Yep. Oh, I see you didn't pay for the premium fucking seats. Oh, but did she not? Okay, did she pick the aisle seat so because she's so fat, she does not fit in one seat, and they for some reason refused to pay for the premium seats. Like, so she picked the aisle seat to make sure no one has to sit beside her because she'd be in their spot. I'm assuming that's what it is. Oh my god, we'll be back to this fucking fountain again. If this, like, if the last two minutes is just panning shots, I don't, I, I, I don't know. I, I don't spit up my fucking hot chocolate here in anger. We were super hungry after the movie, so we. Came. Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> we were super hungry after the movie after our fucking giant ass crap on our box of popcorn. It was only about a minute of them walking back to the car, I guess. So, thank God. I wonder where she's going. Are we going to Hardee's? Are we going to Baskin Robin? Are we going to KFC? We know the answer, but like, let's pretend. Came to Hardee's. It was the only thing open. Oh, actually, did I? One hundred percent was going for KFC. Uh, do you know what? Cool. Okay. 
I, I just, I didn't need that. I didn't need the sudden intrusive noise that just suddenly hits me like a fucking sledgehammer and then see Sally like, try and understand a fucking Pepsi machine. What are you drinking? That was really, I, I'm glad, I'm glad we got to see him pour his entire drink. Because if he only poured a little bit and we cut, I would be like, uh, are we, are, are we not going to get to see the full bit? Did, did he actually even get a full drink? Like, Jesus Christ, like, she films the weirdest shit. Just to try and get more mineral odds, holy fuck. That looks so artificial. Also, yes, we did get to see her then pour her entire own drink. Well, sorry, he poured her drink for her because, you know, romance isn't dead. Uh, I just like, holy shit. I, I don't, I, we don't need to see this. Like, I, I don't get what you think a couple vlog is where it's like, oh, and then we went and we got soda. It's like, oh, okay, bro. And then we went, we had some fucking nuclear fake cheese. It's like, okay, bro. We're seriously just sitting here getting beauty shots of like a gross ass looking burger and some fucking chips. It's just like, I, I, I don't need, I don't need beauty shots of this. I'm I, I, cool. It's fantastic. You want to show off your meal, but it's so weird when we're in like Thailand where she can't show like her meal off in any for, form of way. But now we're sitting here with her like fucking like, I don't know, like exploring the cavity of a fucking potato and trying to climb inside to have a look at these fucking chips. It's like, we yeah, bro. I know what a fucking chip looks like. It's a fucking chip. All right, guys, we're going to end the video here. I'm Yay. super tired from walking all day. I'm super bored from, like, existing. That was a huge mall, but it was such a wonderful day. This yeah. is my first time trying Hardee's, and I have to say, it was so fresh. Like, I know I... Oh, my fucking God. She actually only knows one word. Jesus Christ. And I was laughing at her for not being able to speak Arabic after a fucking year. She can't even speak fucking English after, like, 38 of them. Holy shit. Guys, it's fresh. Just, I, it was really fresh. It was fresh. It was, I was, I was surprised by how fresh it was. It's like, Jesus fuck. You say that a lot with the fast food here. I say that a lot. Yep. Yeah, you do. You certainly do. It's like almost made to order or something. The fries. Maybe America and Canada are like different, but like, isn't, are, aren't like all like fast foods like made to order? I'm like, I, what? Is, what? Isn't that like standard? That they can make the order, especially if it's like so late that everywhere else is closed, isn't it? Like they probably don't have like much left, and they're probably like getting ready to close up. So if you show up really late, they probably will make it like there and then for you. Is what? They were really delicious and crunchy. <laughs> and crunchy. <laughs> Delipit. Gee, they were so good. Yeah, there wasn't much open, but at yeah. that hour, so um, the movie was pretty. There cool. wasn't much open at, at that hour. Are you scared of telling me what time it is? Why are you guys so fucking weird about, like, obviously going out fucking late, late, late at night, but even, like, say, oh, it's not much open at that hour. Why don't you say, because you're meant to be doing, like, travel vlog, couple vlog kind of shit. Why don't you say, oh, yeah, we, we left the cinema at about 11 o'clock, and maybe start at 9, however, some adverts. We left the cinema at 11 o'clock, took us a wee while to travel here. Unfortunately, it is about midnight. Obviously, because of that, most of the restaurants are closed. Something like that would be so simple, and actually kind of, like, paint the picture, and also kind of, like, probably make your audience like, a wee bit more fucking interested in the story instead of just being like oh yeah at, 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 at unspecified time it was it was closing hey, creepy i would say i would give it a seven out of ten what about you i would say a six out of ten okay yeah you liked it a little good that was a good that was a good review thank you very much Sal. i can like i can picture the movie in my fucking head <laughs> just say, it just says sex over and over and over again a little less than i did <laughs> oh really it's not what numbers are I'll give it a 7 out of 10. I'll give it a 6 out of 10. Yeah, you did like it le a little bit less than I did. It's like, yes, that's why my score is lower. It's... <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> this is something. <laughs> but, yeah, it was really well. So, anyway, um, we're going to end the video. So, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. That was really, really genuinely bad. Um, holy shit, she's trying a lot more to be, like, cuter and, like, sweeter. And, like, I don't think you maybe... It's... A... I don't know. Do they have better or worse chemistry here than they do now? I would say probably, like, better? But they barely spoke. Like, this is true, like, first date vibes. Like, they really barely spoke this entire time. And she was just generally, like, very awkward. But, but like, look at that smile. Like, look at this. She looks so much more genuinely happy just to be near Salah than when she was, like, by herself or, like, nowadays when she's, like, sitting there and she's fucking, like... Pretend she has a boil, or she's sitting there walk, walking around salad, like, and he's sitting filming her, and she looks uncomfortable with him filming her. She actually looks happy. Like this is her actually like, oh my god, this is great. I know she just had a burger, which is like a plus ten modifier on her fucking happiness scale, but like she actually seems to be enjoying 
being out with Salah because like, oh my god, I got my husband, yay! So I maybe maybe guys maybe maybe the, maybe uh, the, this was the point where she thought the relationship might actually be able to turn real before she realized it was all fake. That's gonna be the video though. Not for guys. Take care. Bye bye.